Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I am sharing what we got our family, friends, and their pets for Christmas. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So today is the final video in my gift guide series. If you've missed the earlier videos I posted, earlier this week. I will go ahead and link those down below just in case you want to go back and watch some of those other gift guide videos. But today is all about what we are going to be gifting our friends, our family, and some pets that are going to be at my house for Christmas. I do buy for pets as well even when they're not my own. So that will be in here as well. And I was even thinking should I share what I'll be putting in my like brother and sister stocking who will be here Christmas morning. Do you want to see that too? Maybe I will post that in this video as well. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes me to get through everything. So my brother will be here. My sister will be here. Um, obviously my kids and my husband will be here. And then um, my brother's girlfriend will be here as well. So I'm going to start off with those gifts because I did get them a little bit more since they will be at my house for Christmas. And the first thing that I picked up for my brother is a tortilla warmer. My brother makes the best flour tortillas. <laughs> they are so good, better than mine, so tasty, but he's always complaining he doesn't have a tortilla warmer. Me personally, I'm old school. I usually use kitchen towels still to keep my tortillas warm, but I thought that this would be kind of a funny gift and something very useful for him because he does make tortillas a ton. So I picked him up this tortilla warmer. Now, another thing that I picked up for my brother is something that I know he would never just purchase for himself, and that is a new pair of slippers. Last time I seen him in his slippers, it was like almost nothing left. There was like barely any material left on his slippers. So I did pick him up another set of slippers. And again, these are the same ones that you would have seen in my um, my gift guide for my husband. I just picked them up the same old slippers, just in their sizes. And I think that he'll really enjoy those. Now, another thing that I picked up for my brother, and this is like his like big gift from us, um, I picked him up a new robe. I know it's kind of hard to see in this package. I will insert a picture, but I picked him up a new cozy robe. I wanted to focus on things that people would find useful and comfortable this season since everything costs five million dollars. Um, I find that a lot of people are going without little things that they may enjoy, so I really wanted to get him something I think that he would enjoy and I know he would love a new robe. Now, as a together gift for my brother and his girlfriend, again, you're not going to be able to see what's inside here, but I will post a picture. I, I purchased them a four pack of Funko, Funko Pop shelves. Why was that hard to say? I picked them up this four pack of shelves for his little Funko Pop figures. Um, they both really enjoy like those little figures and stuff and he has a ton of them and he's always talking about how he wish how he wishes that he had shelves to put them on. So I did pick him up a four pack of that and to go with that I picked up these two little Funko Pops. This he would get it's a it's a joke my brother um i got him a coca-cola santa when he was a little boy he had picked out he's much younger he's 10 years younger than me so you know <laughs> there's that but um he picked out a coca-cola santa christmas stocking one year and he absolutely loved it he was so little and he had it for years um and i found this coca-cola santa funko pop so i think that he's absolutely going to love this and then he does like, um, I guess we call them scary movies or horror movies. Um, I picked him up this Leprechaun Funko Pop as well. So I think that he's going to get a kick out of this guy as well. And then for his girlfriend, I picked her up a couple of items that I think, again, that she would really enjoy. And I'm kind of jealous of these. I picked her up these really comfy, soft slippers these are the ones they're like little slip-on sandal kind they are so soft and so comfortable and i know that she likes pink so i think she'll really really like these i think they're adorable i have two pairs of brand new slippers currently and i'm really considering going back and buying me a set of these these are so comfortable and in my defense i don't have these type this type of slipper i have the other kind like the kind that's like a full-on slipper I think these would be really great house shoes or little chanclas, you know, to wear around the house. But I thought these were adorable. I think she'll really like these. And then I also picked her up 
a really cute robe. Again, I kind of wanted to keep things equal um, and cozy for people this year. So this one is a hooded robe. It is a shorter robe, but I think that she'll really like it. It's really soft. It is a really soft gray color with white and pink stars. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but I think that she will really like this. And it does, you guys, match her slippers. So there's that as well. Now, the last thing that I picked up for his girlfriend this, this is something else I want to <laughs> like I feel like I picked her up a lot of things that I would have purchased for myself but these are like glass cups and they have these little tops and a straw I know that she likes to primarily use glassware um, when it comes to like dishes and things like that so I thought these would be perfect and I know it's hard again hard to see on camera um, but this is like a almost like an iridescent kind of like pink color Again, it's going with the rest of her pink stuff, but I thought that these were super cute. I'm definitely <laughs> going to see if these go on sale after Christmas and pick up some for myself because I think these are adorable and I think she'll love these. Now, the last person that will be here for Christmas is going to be my sister. And so I picked her up a few things as well. Um, my sister absolutely loves the Addams Family, just like I do. We like the old show and the movies from the 90s. So I found um, this really cute <laughs> Adams Family sweater or sweatshirt. I think that she's going to love this. It's not every day that you can walk into like Ross or like a store and see like this old classic version of the Adams Family. I think that she is going to definitely love this. And also my sister is trying to kind of like declutter things and you know get rid of things and and donate things and I didn't want to give her things that I felt that were going to just clutter up you know those items that she's going to be getting rid of so I didn't want to get her um too many like kind of random things I wanted to do like clothes and things that would be more useful and when it comes to being useful I picked her up these slippers now these ones are a little bit different than the ones that I picked up for my brother's girlfriend but they do still have like the little open toe but these have like a little like strap in the back. This is definitely the style my sister would love. So I picked these ones up for her in black. She wears a lot of dark colors and I do think that it would go great with her little sweatshirt. Um, I was gonna get her a robe as well instead of the sweatshirt, but when I seen this, I was like, I have to get her this. And I bought her a robe last year, I think. If it wasn't last year, it was the year before. So I wanted to get her something a little bit different, but I think that she'll love these slippers as well. And my sister isn't the type of person that will just go out and buy herself a pair of slippers. So she's always thinking about other people that she tends to forget about some of the cozy items for herself. So I think this would be great for her. And then I did pick her up this, whoo, I dropped it. <laughs> it scared me. I picked her up this big, sherpa like fleece blanket at costco this is so soft and it is large it is like a queen king size um blanket i think she's going to absolutely love this it is so soft again i should have picked one up for myself um but it is the season of giving um not just buying for yourself right so i'm gonna go ahead and give her this blanket i think she's going to love it and that's like the last big item i got for my sister what was that my dog is mad, but I did end up going to the store the other day to pick up something for my daughter and I found something else for my sister and it was on clearance and I was super excited about it because it's definitely something that would be useful um, for her but it is this makeup or beauty bag. Now I got this on like a mega clearance. I was so excited, so I had to pick it up. So this is the handbook for the recently deceased. Now this is from Beetlejuice, if you're not familiar with that movie. She does really enjoy that movie and she does have um, a purse that is, you know, the book or the handbook for the recently deceased. So I think that this would be perfect to go with that. And again, it's just a little makeup bag or like, you know, cosmetic bag. She could use it for pretty much anything. But when I seen this, I was like, okay, my sister's getting one more gift because I love this. Oh, I kind of want to see if they have more for me again. I know I keep on saying that, but, um, I do think that this is adorable. Now there is, um, a kind of like tween that I wanted to buy something for and she likes stitch and I think that this was so adorable and it's so soft it is a Lilo and stitch stitch plush throw I picked this up at Kohl's I thought it was absolutely adorable and it is so soft and sometimes I feel like when it comes to like 
teens and tweens and you, you know when as kids are getting older they could be a little bit more challenging to shop for and I thought that this would be perfect. My youngest daughter absolutely loves blankets anything soft like this she loves and my oldest daughter she loves them too so it's like I feel like this would be a really good gift for like that you know tween um, and again I know that she likes Stitch from Lilo and Stitch so I thought that this would be perfect for her. And then I picked up some socks to give as a gift as well. I did show this in a Costco haul. Um, I'm going to start just kind of showing you everything instead of telling you because this is more like friends and, and stuff like that now. But these, this is just a really, really soft pack, six pack of socks. Um, I love the colors of these. And again, I got them at Costco, super soft. They're like buttery, you know, they're like just so soft. <laughs> Okay, now another gift that I'll be giving out this year is this little honey pot. Now I bought one for myself and I use it all the time. I happen to drink like every single night I'll have a glass of warm water with some like local honey and lemon in it and I absolutely love it. It's just, it's like in my nighttime routine. So I use this all the time and I just thought of somebody that would absolutely love this as well. So I picked this up for them. So again, it just says honey, it has a lid, but then it has like this little, you know, honey stick there as well. I think it's cute, I love it. And I think that she will too. Okay, now I did also pick up a couple of gift cards to give out to some other um, people and to give along with those gift cards. I just got little tiny things. And the first thing I picked up is this frog scrunchie. <laughs> to give out with the gift card that I picked up for a child. Um, these are more like gifts that I might have to ship or send out. Um, we may not see these people, so I want to make sure that I'm still giving a little gift along with their gift card. But again, I thought this was adorable. My youngest daughter picked it out and she knows that this um, person really loves frogs. So there's this. And then we also picked up this two pack of like best friend um, necklaces but the little rings on them are frogs I don't know if you can really see but they're little frogs so this is another um, item that we're going to be giving along with the gift card as well and my youngest daughter will be keeping one of these and she'll be gifting the other one to her best friend and I just think that that is going to be adorable and they both really love frogs and and things like that so it's just it's awesome so another item that I'm going to be gifting along with some gift cards are these really cozy like non-slip really thick warm socks. I love these things. I wear them all the time. I mean not these specific ones but I have a ton of different patterns of these types of socks and I absolutely love them but they have the non-slip on the bottom. I got them in black and white because I really wasn't sure um, of the color or anything like that and I thought these were super cute and sometimes when you get really light colored ones they could get pretty dirty and stained fast so I wanted to make sure I kind of got a darker color and then on the inside they kind of have like this little Sherpa um, and they're super soft and warm. So I will be gifting these along with the gift card as well. The last things that I picked up is actually for my niece my nieces and my nephew. So my best friend has four daughters and a son and I do like to give them something every single year that seems kind of equal. They're all um, young. They're all younger than my kids. Like I think they're like 11 and under. Um, so I do like to give things that are going to be useful and things that I think that they'll really enjoy. So this year I decided to do art supplies. I know that a couple of her kids, my goddaughter, loves to draw and sketch and things like that. So I thought it would be fun to get them each their own little art set. So I picked up a whole bunch well not a whole bunch five I picked up five different sketchbooks so here's one of them I thought that it was super cute oh I can't open it it's closed but they are blank pages inside but they get their own sketchbook so here's one of them here's one that I picked up for my nephew this one's adorable too it says dream create inspire and again, these are all the same brand and they're all um, just blank inside. This one I thought was so beautiful. Look at that. I thought it was adorable. 
And then I picked up this one. I'll probably give this one to my goddaughter. Um, I know that she likes black and this rainbow color, so she'll probably get this one. Um, but yeah, so I picked up five different sketchbooks. But then to go with their sketchbooks, I wanted to also gift them art supplies so that they can actually draw and, and, and make their own art. So for each of them, I picked up a drawing pencil set. So I bought five of these to go with their sketchbooks. And here's the whole set, if you don't believe me. <laughs> There's those. And then I also picked up some illustration markers as well. So they'll each get a set of the drawing pencils, a sketch pad, and these illustration markers. There's 28 in here, and I believe they're dual tipped, yeah. So they have uh, a, like a thin tip, and then they have like a, where is it? Oh, I'm pointing at the wrong spot. So they have like a thin tip on one side, but then like a brush pen on the other side. And again, I picked up five of those. So it'll be like a little art gift set that I'll be gifting to my nieces and my nephew this year. And I think that they will really, really enjoy it. And I just, it's really hard for me to shop for so many different ages um, and try and keep it even, if that makes sense. So I thought that this was the perfect way to do that. that so now? I did make a ton of homemade gifts this year. So I will also be gifting homemade vanilla extract. Again, I still need to label them. I still haven't done that yet. Um, so I'll be giving out vanilla extract. I will also be giving out paper whites, which is a flower that blooms in the winter if cared for properly. So I'll be giving out those as well. And then I'm also giving out a little three pack of homemade soap. So I made three different types of homemade soap this year. I did post that video earlier in the week as my DIY Christmas gift ideas. And I made a lavender soap, a peppermint soap, and a goat milk and honey soap. So I like to put those in like sets of three and give them as a gift set to people. As well. The last few things that I wanted to share with you before I get into stockings for my brother and my sister and his girlfriend are what I'm picking up for the pets that will be at my house for Christmas. It does not matter, human, pet, animal, whatever. If you are at my home um, Christmas morning, you will have a stocking So and a gift. So I wanted to make sure that I was picking something up for even my brother's pet and my sister's pets. So for my sister's cat who will be here, I picked her up this little scratch pad for her gift. And then for her stocking, I did pick her up a little thing of um, what is this called? Catnip. So I did pick this up for her. So this will be for Pico, my sister's cat. She's adorable. This cat is like 5 million years old. Everybody in my home absolutely loves her. She is definitely a member of the fa family, even though she's my sister's cat. So we do include her at Christmas. And then for my sister's dog, his name is Gus. He happens to be the brother to my dog, Iroh. I picked him up a couple of toys, one to wrap and put under the tree and one for his stocking. So the first thing I picked up for him is this peppermint mocha chew toy. Um, I thought that this was adorable because for one, my sister is always drinking a peppermint mocha. So it does squeak and he will really get a kick out of this. He definitely likes bright colors, her dog. I remember one time she got him this like spider toy and it was all black and white and he just didn't care for it. He likes bright colored toys. I never heard that before, but he does. So he'll definitely like this peppermint mocha toy. And then I got him this crinkly um, Christmas tree. I think that he'll really like this one as well. Now, my brother and his girlfriend have a small, very small, um, like, chihuahua, and I picked her up something. Her name is Luna. She's adorable as well. She's got a lot of energy, that one, though. A lot of energy. <laughs> She's still very young, but I picked her up this little fox squeak <laughs> toy. I think that she'll absolutely love this, and that dog loves to play fetch, so this is definitely something he could throw, and she could go and get, um, and she'll have a lot of fun with this. But that is everything that I picked up gift-wise, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm going to be putting inside my brother, my sister, and his girlfriend's stockings. We'll start off with my brother's stocking. Now, my sister, she usually buys things for stockings for my house as well. So I did want to make sure I was leaving a little bit of room for her to put in her items as well. But we are going to start off with my brother's stocking. Now, for my brother, I always get him certain candy for his stocking. I've been doing it since he was really young. And um, he, always spends, he always spends Christmas with us. So um, uh, where is his candy cane? Here it is. So the first thing I picked up for his stocking is this like little chocolate Hershey chocolate candy cane. 
And then I picked him up this Andy's Peppermint Bark. He got these Junior Mint um, candies. Now this is definitely something I put in every year for him. This I have been giving him in his stocking since he was like three. Um, these are Tootsie Rolls and it's the one that has like the little top so you could turn it into a piggy bank after. So I gift him one of these every single year. And then he got a lump of coal. He got a pack of coal, um, chocolate coal for his stocking as well. Now, another thing that I give in stockings every single year um, are socks. So I got him a pack of, or a pair of Tapatio socks. This is definitely something that he would love. He got a new toothbrush. Again, I give it every single year. Now this year, my brother actually helped me out a lot in my garden and he grew a ton of corn in my backyard. I mean, an entire field of corn in my backyard. I'll put a picture if I can find one. So as kind of like a little joke, I picked him up these little corn tray set. Um, there, This is a four pack. It's just something that you would put like corn on the cob on when you're eating it. It's a little tray for him. But this is more of like a little joke for him. But he grew so much corn in my backyard. It was so successful. It was probably the most successful successful um, season that I've ever had because my brother put in so much time um, in this cornfield that he put in my backyard. So this is kind of just like a little uh, joke. And then I did purchase this little uncle, uh, uncle, <laughs> uncle, Iro figure. This is from a show that him and I used to watch all the time called Avatar The Last Airbender. We used to watch this so much. We absolutely love it. We still watch it to this day. Um, and one of my favorite characters is Uncle Iro. My dog is even named Iro. I do know that this is one of the figures he doesn't have. So I did pick this one up for his stocking. And then I also picked him up a set of Avatar The Last Airbender chopsticks. This has um, the character Aang in the Avatar state. So I just think that he'll really like these. He eats a lot of like ramen and things like that. So I think that he'll like these. I picked him up a two pack of lint rollers again. My dog is a great Pyrenees. Anytime you come to my house, you're gonna be covered in hair. So everybody gets one of these in their stocking. And then I picked him up this pack of gunk getter. So it's like that stuff that you use to like kind of clean like keyboards or your car. But I got him this here. And then the last two things I picked up for his stocking are actually buttons. And these these are buttons my kids picked out. So they picked him up. Um, they picked him out this little SpongeBob button. They said that when he was growing the corn in my backyard, when he would be excited about the corn growing, he would make the same face as SpongeBob. And that's why they wanted to give him this button. And then um, they also picked him out this Mojo Jojo button. So that is everything that I will be putting in my brother's stocking. Now for my sister's stocking, I got her just a little bit more because again, she's usually the one that will help me fill stockings. And you know, I wanted to make sure she still had a good amount in her stocking. So um, like always, I picked her up a toothbrush, but her pack of socks are Reptar. Now this is a show that we used to watch all the time when we were younger. Um, what was it? It was uh, Rugrats, but this is Reptar. And I know that she will absolutely love these socks. I also picked her up the two pack of lint rollers. I picked her up that gunk getter as well. I don't know if she likes this or not, but I was just like, yeah, I'll pick her up one. So I picked up this gunk getter. And then I picked her up some makeup removing facial wipes. And where is it? Oh, here it is. I picked her up these disposable washcloths. My sister has her own, she runs her own business. She is a small business owner and she is a licensed massage therapist and runs her own company. And things like this, I feel are just really great for her to have on hand. So I picked her up some of these um, disposable washcloths. Now she's not really into too much candy. So the only thing I knew that she would really like in her stocking candy wise would be this peppermint bark, like Andy's snap bar. And then I also picked her up that same 
candy cane. This, I don't care if she likes it or not. She, everybody gets one. It goes in every single stocking. So I did pick this one up for her. And then the last few things I picked up are more like beauty items. Um, I think that she would enjoy. I got her a pack of these nail wrap stickers. And then I picked her up two glitter eyeliners. Um, or sparkle liners. I picked her up one in green and this other one is, yeah, it's purple. And this other one is purple. I think that she would really like this. She's always um, doing like really cool makeup and stuff like that on herself. And I think that she would love to add these to her collection. And then I also picked, this was from the Dollar Tree, this next one. And I just thought it was really neat, but it is a scrunchie, but it has a pocket on it. Like, how cool is that? You can actually put something small in there, like a couple dollars, you know, maybe, maybe some coins or something. I don't know. What do you put in a scrunchie? I just thought it was neat. I just thought that it was super neat, but it is a scrunchie with a little zipper pouch thing. So I got her one of these. And then the last thing I'm going to be putting in her stocking is this Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Shea Sugar Scrub. Woo, try and say that fast. Um, so this one actually smells amazing. And I do know that she really likes the scent of rose. Oh my God, I mean, it smells so good. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Um, I know that she would really, really like this. And this isn't something that she would typically buy for herself unless it's like once in a blue moon. You know, she rarely gets herself something that would be considered a luxury item. So I think that she'll really like this. Now, the last stocking I wanted to share with you is actually going to be for my brother's girlfriend because she will be here on Christmas morning as well. And okay, I have to admit something before you get started with her stocking and that is that I ate a lot of her treats that I was gonna put in her stocking. So she doesn't really have much of a sweet tooth, so I didn't really get her too much candy, but I did buy her like Flaming Hot Cheetos and a bag of regular Cheetos and a bag of like Cheeto Puffs. Well, guess what guys? I ate them all. So now I have to go back and buy her. <laughs> Her chips um but yeah so those will be in her stocking as well like the little like fun size or whatever you want to call those like snack size I did purchase those for her but again I ate them so I have to go repurchase those for her um so her stocking might look a little bare but <laughs> that's because I ate her snacks now I did again pick up one of these because everybody gets one of these in their stocking um and then she got chips opposed to candy because again she she has more of a she doesn't really have a sweet tooth now for her like everyone else, she got a toothbrush, but she got a one steak sauce socks. Um, she actually does like a one, so that's kind of why I went with these socks. And then she also got a lint roller set, some cute gray sparkly nail wraps. She got a set of the green sparkly nail wraps. I picked her up some makeup remover wipes as well. I just think that these are good to have on hand. And then I did buy her one of those scrunchies as well with that like pocket thing. Again, I don't know. I just thought it was so cool. I should have bought one for myself. There I go again, thinking of me. But yeah, I mean, it just has like a little pocket. I just thought it was so cool. I, Again, I don't know. I just thought it was neat. I picked her up these eyebrow razors. I actually got a set of these for my oldest daughter as well. Um, I just think these are really, really useful and really, really good to have on hand. So I picked this up for her. And then the last item that I have to share with you today for her stocking is this Tree Hut Candy Cane Sugar Scrub. I actually bought this larger version for my oldest daughter and it smells really, really good. It's like a cookie, uh, almost like a sugar cookie and like peppermint, you know? Um, it smells so, oh, it smells so good. So I did pick up this one for her. So those are all gifts that we're gonna be giving to family, friends, and pets this year. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.